juice. Did you really thought that was gonna work? We're getting a fake out? The juice worked? I'm buying the wrong brand of juice. That's, that stuff's definitely not from Concentrate. Welcome to Graham Games. My name's Graham. These are games. People seemed to generally like the fan content that I've been doing, even more specifically the Henry Stickman Scratch stuff, so I thought, yeah, I could definitely do more of that. I thought Ellie's backstory looked particularly well done. This one is created by Tony NSC. I'll have links to all these down in the description if you want to check out any of them for yourselves. I'm pretty sure you can, you know, follow creators and things like that. So yeah, might be a good opportunity to discover some cool new people over on Scratch. And it's also very funny because I essentially made this video, which, you know, Puff himself deconfirmed most of what I said, but that was never the point. It was just a bit of like fan headcanon of maybe what Ellie's story could have been. Episode one, robbing the gem, like what her story could have been leading up to where we meet her at the wall. And so it'll be interesting to see someone else have their own interpretation of what that is. If they lifted anything from my theory, I think that would be funny and I'm open to seeing it. I like the idea that maybe she had access to the same technological resource that would have developed the teleporter. I don't know if Henry's antenna on his usually straightens out like that when he uses it. I think that's the same sequence of presses Henry uses, which is funny. <laughs> it's, I also actually, it's kind of clever to have the same fail he originally had, although I guess crossing the pit would be the original, but the first one in Breaking the Bank, he gets stuck in the wall, she gets stuck in the floor. It's a good spin on it. Don't worry, you can just press the button. Uh, oh, right, you have half a body now. Yeah, seemingly you're still alive though, so maybe your legs are still intact down there, but it's quite the risk. Fake jewelry. They don't quite see how like a little origami fold-up jewelry would trick anyone, but it seems worth a genuine shot. I'm thinking this is the most likely to work of those four. That was some really aggressive motion blur, but I appreciate what appreciate what they were going for there. There was some background noise that makes me think that Ellie is stealing this while there are people here. Wait the minute. That isn't the real diamond. Got busted pretty quickly. That was a really long cutscene to seemingly not get away with it. I'm seeing next though, would next be the next episode? Oh, it totally is, and that's not what I want. Oh, do you know what though? That's like her breaking the bank. You should always lose robbing the gem. That's like a part of it. That's a pretty well thought out concept to merge breaking the bank and stealing the diamond into two two little games like that. And then maybe she'll, I guess she's not having her own escaping the prison. We'll see how these other, like the rocket launcher goes. Apparently it was just a launcher. There was no rocket propulsion going on. <laughs> I forgot to lubricate it. That's oddly gross. I, I, I quite dislike that. Trampoline. Tram bam bopoline. Tram bam bamboline. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 performance. It's got a little bit of like a jumble hoppers feel to it, but it's a, it's its own thing. I don't think Henry ever used a trampoline. Seems like it would be a great tool. Yeah, here it sounds like there's like this ambient sound of a bunch of people being in this museum. But it's, it is the nighttime. It's clearly nighttime. She just gets caught so quickly. <laughs> Somehow that guy didn't see her actually swap them, but then, like, just looking at it, he instantly knew. He's got a keen eye. He's lucky he caught her before she had fully made it away. Boarding the boat. Oh, funny, now the sequence of being chased out of it is like its own episode. 
That's a funny way of fitting one story into more of a collection type feel. I'm gonna let that time out. You gotta do something. I just don't know if I've seen a timeout fail in one of these Scratch games. And I've, I've become increasing, increasingly aware of like the level of complexity you can get in these Scratch games. And this is still like on the more simplistic side. We'll do the tree, which I guess knock that over and just sail away. The suspect has hidden themselves in a tree. I've, I've got to respect Let me switch to my thermal scope. the creator here for doing different voices the way Puff normally would. Did you really expect that to work? That blackout shot effect is a lot like one scene in one of the Henry Stickman fails, but that one is like a whiteout with a red background. This ah, That feels like a reference that I'm, I'm missing, but I, I like the commitment to the voices. I think that's well done. <laughs> Climbing the tree felt like the end of like the first Hobbit movie. It's kind of what I had in mind. Porter boat feels like the expandable technology that like Bulma has in Dragon Ball Z. But now we also have like a boat chase, which is like very classic like James Bond or or just action movie in general. Then a play on the car chases Henry gets involved in. I think it's a fun way of mixing up. And now we have the, the up and the down, which would be the same as like escaping the prison. You can see these influences being laced in from the entire Henry Stickman collection. And I think that's just quite well done. Oh no, we got titanic Oh, there was, there was a lot more else going on there. Some giant trash barge or something. That was a, a successful crash. Lots of unexpectedly successful steps in Where this story. Where should we keep a Mesa? We shall keep her in the wall. They're arguing about whether or not they should send her to the, the Mesa, which is the penitentiary that Henry would have got held up at, and someone else makes an argument for sending her to the wall, which is kind of funny because then we're seeing how rank failed heist, how the entirety of all of this uh, would have landed her at the wall. So there's, there's a, a bit of a fleshed out backstory, perhaps if we just <laughs> as simple as go this direction around, but still the animation is... Where did she... Oh, you oh. hid, you hopped off on the, the barge. All units, we have lost the suspect. Disengage the chase. We'll track him down later. So it's not actually the type of hat that would be worn by characters at the wall, but the, the voice acting is what sells it instead. Thief on board. That would be our, our successful route, one where Ellie is seemingly never sent to the wall. Sort of a, a funny thing here. I was going back through to just absolutely confirm that I had got every possible branch. And by the way, just having the animations for each of these and the sound effect it's really, it's really committed, and I really appreciate the effort put in here. But the funny thing is that I'm pretty sure the rocket launcher is held and shot backwards. The typical, like, cone shape that you see, I think is kind of like an exhaust that vents out the smoke because it's being rocket propelled out this tiny little tube at the front. And so I'm pretty sure that might have been a big part of why it failed. Maybe that's intentional. Maybe that's kind of the joke. But, you know, otherwise you'd think it would just shoot behind you and you'd blow something else up. But yeah, that's a kind of like potentially a, a fail within the fail there. <laughs> Next, we have Passing the Bridge by Gwenta Noob de Scratch doing Passing the Bridge, which I, I kind of thought when I was first pulling it up here, I thought maybe this was more of like a, mm. a Crossing the Pit remake, which I had seen previously. It's a very common thing that people do they like remaking that game it's a fun way to, to try this out you know it's nice and short this one is actually unique which i didn't realize at first disclaimer the reason why charles is here is because this is an alternate universe where Char charles already met henry so that's actually good to know I, I don't have to be left speculating i know precisely where these characters are coming from maybe there's some specific completing the mission ending that you could stick this at the end of, you know, what, what is it, what is it, uh, 
special brovert ops, <laughs> you know, after taking on that big mission, the next thing that Henry and Charles have to deal with together is uh, a hole in the ground. You know, we'll start with Charles right off the bat. There are unique sprites for it, but he still shoots his, his double thumbs up. It's funny that we have like a new teleporter. We'll, we'll get to all that soon enough. Of course, of course, that would be his plan. I mean, it was one of the greatest plans. Well, you died, so it isn't a great plan. You should try it again with the flag button. Oh, okay, that's one way to do that, I suppose. It's a little bit of an irritant because it hmm. takes you back to the, the disclaimer screen instead of this screen. The commentator is seemingly acknowledging all possible universes and the fact that Charles definitely would have died in the one in particular. An all new teleporter, seemingly equally as unlikely to work. Maybe with some added Looney Tunes physics even. Uh, never trust a teleporter, I guess? That little mid-air pause, I think, is something that was lifted straight from crossing the pit. I think that actually did play out the same. Water! We're just gonna fill up this entire thing, hey? Just, it's gotta be some sort of, like, other dimension infinitely pouring cup of water. Wow! Do, I guess, maybe is that meant to be Minecrafty? You know, you pour one bucket and it infinitely fills that one space? Ah! So, you know, we're having passing the bridge, but it is a crossing the pit game still. Since, you know, he, he crossed the pit to then access the bank, and you're, we're, we're seeing, like, callbacks to the old crossing the pit here and everything. The splashy end. <laughs> yeah, this creator had crossing the pit too, and now passing the bridge is a remake of their own game rather than a remake of the original Crossing the Pit. That's really funny, actually. <laughs> I kind of just like to think that, hey, there were two different pits out here in the desert that you had to cross. You had to successfully hmm. make it over both of them. Your arsenal of tricks just had to be that the tiniest bit bigger. It's an interlude of that original non-canon game and the prologue. We're talking pre-prologue here. This is, this is huge for the development of Henry Cannon. That was very glitchy and spastic. <laughs> nothing, nothing for the bridge. It's a fail. Kicking won't work. Sorry, buddy. Well, you didn't broke a bone, right? I mean, yeah, you, you gotta look on the bright side there. Maybe your bridge didn't work, wasn't quite the right length. You have limited hmm. options out here in the desert. You know, you gotta work with what you have and not everything's gonna be a winner. <laughs> I hope, I kind of think it would be hilarious if a different success in this game would simply be to fill the pit with juice. And you know, it played out the exact same, it was essentially the same ending. We're getting a fake out? The juice worked? The juice worked? I gotta, I had to go back because I have to read that fake out ending, I'm too... Hmm. I wasn't paying attention because I had felt like I had all the time in the world. Who would have thought that the juice would be a success? Did you really thought that was going to work? It's more reliable than the teleporter. Never, never would have guessed. Never would have seen that coming. What a, what, what magic that is. I'm buying the wrong brand of juice. That's That stuff's definitely not from Concentrate. Hook me up with whatever Henry's drinking. Tropicana is is dead to me. I, I never want that garbage again. The ladder, though, seems reliable. Didn't expect to get abducted. <laughs> Alien go burr. I guess it kind of does. Depends. Depends how far you want to stretch that onomatopoeia, whether or not you can like roll your R's and things, I cannot. <laughs> I wonder if the hmm. way that a ladder was climbed was meant to be like um, um, the old school Mario game. Like maybe it's meant to be a reference that may just be, might just be how the animation turned out. Magic with a star wand, kind of like a, a Kirby star wand, although <laughs> I gotta say it seemingly had all its points rounded off in the final version. Magic bridge at the attack. Well, that's just an unfair showdown there. 
It's definitely a surprise attack, though. We didn't see it coming. They mm. get first move. The action point allotment there makes sense to me. Bleep? It's not that big. I mean, it would be terrifying because, you know, you're taking your life into your hands with one single jump. But I bet you could do it. I, I, say, I say give it a shot. Get those little... Get those little tiny stick legs pumping, you know? You shouldn't do that again. You failed once, remember? Remember? Yeah, yeah, but that was like uh, exercise and, and training, you know? Maybe at this hmm. point those muscles are a little stronger, a little more propulsion behind a given leap. There was a chance. Waiting is my guess, because it's an unexpected other way to succeed. My guess is that waiting will also work. I don't know how long you have to wait. You know, usually water is just eroding and continuously making things deeper. But who knows? Maybe this will fill itself back in in like a few millennia. And who knows? Maybe Charles is... Or, or Henry. <laughs> I'm looking at Charles's name there. Henry is an infinite, no-aging god. And he can just wait that out. In which case, he should probably just put, like, a penny in the bank and wait that out for the interest to build. But, you know, <laughs> we'll see. I personally really like birds. I would have, I love the fact that the bird worked. I just never in a million years guessed that that would make it into the game. My, my prediction was so immediately turned, turned against me. <laughs> I just couldn't have couldn't have been more wrong. Thanks to Gaster Bonnie, smashing up the uh, FNAF and Undertale fandoms. Flying time. Try again if you want. Thanks for playing. I do want. I want. I want all the options. I like that it's probably meant to be like hmm, but because it's just the placement, the long eyes mostly, and the mouth being back here, it looks like he's pinching his nose. It makes me wonder, who, co who cut the cheese out in the desert here? Not a distraction or, or anything like that, just a regular dance. They're all D words, so it still kind of like fits. Apparently he's just doing the disco entirely. I hope it then cuts to he's made it to the other side. Whatever just happened there, he just had like glided across the pit and that it would not show his feet and not explain it or anything that would have been I feel like my perfect payoff to that joke because this is going on for a minute you know maybe an entire song's worth I honestly don't know if I'm supposed to this feels like the walkthrough in completing the mission am I supposed to at some point recognize that this is like looping oh failed never dance again whether that be distraction or diversion or anything none of that never no dancing again what a sad way to live life only two more options remain 12 choices is is pretty impressive <laughs> just give up you can't just give up oh dang i just said a second ago that that that, that should be an option apparently i was wrong hadn't thought it through i believe in you <laughs> i like that it got like a tiny bit motivational there take it take it to heart hmm. I'm rethink my life and you know what I, I've, I've waited given it some thought and it's it's time time to resolve this to solve everything to pass this impassable bridge no matter what Gandalf says I'm gonna do it <laughs> imagine waiting lol nothing is gonna happen just press the flag button mm, but is that a trick or a fake out I'm going to wait a minute just in case. Yeah, I, ge I, ge I genuinely think that's a, a true ending. And hey, in, in the last video, I would have done a Shiny May Stickman game. They have a full series on the go here. We started with the prologue of locating the emerald. Now they have absconding the mine, joining the factions, raiding the station. I think that one might be like in progress. But yeah, you know, if I'm going to do multiple of these videos, I could like include one of these each time since they're all building off each other. You know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You know, this game taught me something because I used to think abscond was specific only to the context of like he absconded with a big sack of money with a dollar sign <laughs> printed on it. I thought it meant to get away with something not to get away with the crime but to get away with something you're you're making off with it you've now stolen that object and you've absconded 
with it. Apparently, it basically just means to daringly get away in an unlawful manner or from an unlawful situation. And yeah, I just didn't didn't know. We will start with the lighter, if you guys remember kind of where things left off last time. Down in that mine, we fought our way past an Enderman and then collected the emerald, but now we're still stuck, stuck down there and have to get out. So I'll use the lighter to try and light the way. Apparently that was a nice, simple, obvious choice. Leaping, bound to fail, building across, we've seen that once. Mining things, that was a, that was a success i think in in stealing the diamond so yeah let's build a cross can't use gravel it just falls down well i guess we should have collected some more reliable building materials well then we'll just dig our way up <laughs> never dig straight up i think that's a play on the usual advice of never dig straight down it might have even come up in the last game it definitely come up came up in the official breaking the bank but that also reminds me of the never dig up stupid or, or dig up stupid joke from The Simpsons. Just walk. Oh, I thought it would be like Raiders of the Lost Ark. I think it is or one of the Indiana Jones movies where it's an illusion. The light from the lighter only illuminates a small area around you. Well, you know, you watch your step. You take it slow. Who'd have thought that leaping down would possibly be the success. Is mine gonna come up every time? Aw oh, man, so we back in the mine. Just keep going back, no escaping the mine. <laughs> Just reminds me of the mine splaining joke in West of Loathing. Definitely worth checking out. TNT apparently is also recurring from the last game. Why would you stand directly next to primed dynamite? You gotta learn these lessons over time here, Henry. Uh, that's quite the crawling pose. You're really going for like a, a sawhorse there. <laughs> I mean, it worked. I guess it makes sense that it would. It's so simple. I think this is Charles flying on in. Shoot him down. Why? Why would you blow up a helicopter? That was your only way home. Could have been. Could have been Bert Curtis. You know, could have been evil Charles flying around up there. Shine a laser pointer right up in his eyeball. Haven't you been told not to do that? Yes. But you know, I'm just testing the limit, seeing what I can get away with. We are a criminal after all. I did have an old roommate who had like this very expensive high tech laser pointer that's max distance was like a kilometer or something. And we like were playing around with it, driving on the highway and flashed it into the car behind us and like this guy drove up beside us and laid on the horn like we weren't trying to mess with him and it, we didn't like realize how powerful it was laser pointers are intense yo let's build up <laughs> watch the jet bro watch your jet well that seemed very logical to me flare gun rescued righteously <laughs> I like the alliteration going on there. Righteous feels very like, I don't know, 70s or something. Headlamp, your headlamp broke from that fall you took. How did you forget? Oh, it's been a while for me personally. Weeks, been like a month or something since I recorded the last one. Torch. Ah, I was not expecting an entirely new viable path. The creator did mention that sponge is an inside joke with, with their friend, which I think is funny. Why not? If you're making a fan game through all the inside jokes in there you want, it's a fun way, you know, other people can feel like they're getting in on the joke too and make it a thing. Why would you dip your hand into molten lava? Duh, I was dipping the sponge. I wanted it to soak up the lava. Was it not obvious? <laughs> Water bucket your way across? Totally logical. Teleporter, of course. Apparently totally logical. I wouldn't have expected. There's a lot of repeats here. Didn't really think that one through for a build-up. Doesn't work. Oh, double jump. It's gonna be double jump. You haven't unlocked that skill quite yet. You need to be level 20. You're level 12. I'm curious how we racked up so many levels on this adventure. Good for us. You already used all the water in the bucket like two scenes ago. 
The bucket's empty. <laughs> okay, that's a good way to pay off the recurring use of that. It feels almost lazy to keep bringing it back, but then, you know, you pay off a joke. What was your plan there? To blow it up. You know, if you can't climb over it, can't climb under it, can't go around it, blow it up. That's the logic there. <laughs> Rank abscond artist. Now, there's a commitment here to the alliteration now that I'm that I'm seeing. You know, fits in with the larger game. A redstone lamp. You forgot to bring something to activate the lamp. Didn't you? Well, I didn't expect to be spending like a month down here in this mine, so forgive me these simple mistakes, you know? I'm I'm trying my darndest. Did I? I definitely tried to blow that up. This is what I didn't do before. Redstone, I, 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 I don't understand any of this. Crawling through this mine. <laughs> it's a very hard to sound like Chester Bennington. One of a kind. I feel like there were some other things in Torch that I didn't do because I was so successful. Just wade, doggy paddle on across. Nathan Redman tried to swim in lava and jump just jumping across leap of faith more like leap of fail it is what it's like it's an accurate description <laughs> of how that played out uh the dual pickaxe that's what i've been missing doing one at a time this whole time was just it was you know never gonna work you need two did, did you just try to climb a wall with mining pickaxes i mean they're essentially the same as climbing pickaxes. If anything, they have twice as many pick points on them. You should be able to climb up anything with those bad boys. That's a, that's a hell of a, a, a choice. Grappling hook was nothing. There's room to add unique fail text to some of these that are just like, nah, it didn't work. I would like to see some of that fleshed out and, and edited, but I bet it's tough. But it's tough to come up with unique texts for every single one. Climbing, maybe you shouldn't scale a steep wall without climbing gear. <laughs> the one time, the one time I was a dungeon master, we had like a section in a cave and my friends were like all new to playing D&D &D, and they were like, oh, well this next section we'll just climb up, right? And I was like, well, I don't think you guys are appreciating that it's like a 30 foot wall. <laughs> I very much have like encounters planned along the route. And the, whoever the most athletic was in the group was like, yeah, I'll do a climb. Rolled like a perfect roll. <laughs> so I had, to, I had to have it succeed. But then I just shifted my plans so that everything that they just skipped <laughs> ended up in front of them anyways. Uh, DMs constantly messing with you behind the scenes. It's the only time I've ever done it, though. I'd love to, I'd love to DM again someday. I think that's it. I think it's maybe just the two endings. I do think I got everything there, so that would be the end of that one. I think I have enough queued up that I could very easily do another video like this. One of the most commonly recommended projects was from Heyo Game here, the same person who brought us Surviving the Snowstorm. They have this really intricate Fleeing the Complex 2. It was a work in progress. I believe they now took it down. And the plan is to expand it, finish that, and bring it back. So I'll wait. Uh, there are versions of it still out there, but I'll, I'll wait for the full thing. I've also heard some good things about Thieving the Gem. That's another one that I have kind of waiting off to the side there to maybe come to in the future. I also have a few people have recommended that are not starring Henry, but are the same style of game. And yeah, I'm totally down for that as well. I think the idea of taking this concept in new directions is really fun, and it shouldn't be limited to, to Henry only. So definitely recommend those to me as well. But the more you guys keep suggesting fan games, then yeah, who knows? This could become more of a, a longer running series than just, you know, a couple of videos the way I kind of have it planned currently. You basically have to send me exact names of the games and their creators or even just the links themselves because it's very hard <laughs> to sort things, sort through things on Scratch. I, I find that it's insanely difficult <laughs> to navigate this site and find things that are unique and well made and not just, you know, remixes and things people have made and weird asset dumps. Yeah, so the more you can help me to find specific projects, definitely the better. 
Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.